Dear students, this is our second module on programming language early generations. So in the last module, we have discussed about the machine language and the assembly language. So in assembly language, what is the disadvantage? That code is machine dependent. This means whatever the instruction we use, for example, load, and we are saying that R5 or R6 are the registers. So if in one machine there are total number of registers are 100, so if we are using those 100 registers and in another machine there are number of registers are, for example, 110 or something else. So this means that our code will not be machine independent. We are using the characteristics of the particular machine while writing our code. And if we have built our code on a machine that has 110 registers, that code might not work for a machine that has 100 registers. So still, we need to force to think in a small incremental steps. So first step is load from one memory location to the register, then again second memory location to the second register, then add, then store, then hard. So we need to think, we, need, we are f being forced by the assembly language to think in small incremental steps. However, human really like to write something like this. Total cost is equal to price plus shipping charge. So such an information users normally write, want to write. And then there is a need for some translator that it could translate this one single step into those five steps which we have discussed in the previous slides. So if we are able to do this thing, then our code will be machine independent because that translator will see that on a machine where on, for which we are translating to the machine code, so what are the characteristics, how many registers are there, what is the RAM size, and etc. So all of the information will be checked by the translator while converting the previous code to this particular, for particular machine. So the third generation languages like Fortran, formula translator, and COBOL, like common business oriented language. So such languages were built which were able to translate this one instruction, total cost is equal to price plus shipping charge into those five steps. So such a translator was built that it was able to convert this particular line into these five instructions. So it will say that user want to add something. So it will have the add instruction. And what user want to add the price and shipping charge. So price need to be loaded and shipping charge need to be loaded. And then the information need to be stored back into the RAM and then the halt instruction. So whatever was written over here. So such translators were being built in the third generation of programming languages. And such translators sometimes called or were called the compilers. So compiler of a programming language try to understand what user has written in a language that is more towards the natural language or language which might be more familiar to the human and reading and understanding and checking that the language is correctly written and then translating that language into the machine language. And then there was another concept known as interpreters. So the difference between compiler and interpreter is that when a program is written, compiler first translate all of the code into machine language and then it executes. However, interpreters first translate one instruction into the machine language and execute that instruction. Then move to the second instruction and convert it into the machine code and then execute that instruction. So these programs were similar to translator except that they 
execute the instruction as they were translated instead of recording the translated version for future use. And then we should also understand the difference between natural languages and formal languages. So the programming languages are written in a formal language. So in which we are restricted by using some rules. So we are not allowed to deviate from those rules that have been defined by the formal languages. However, the natural languages are evolved when human communicate. So computer languages follow strict rules and precisely defined by grammars, whereas natural language evolved without formal grammatical an analysis and the natural language depends upon the human, whatever they want to say, they will say, wherever they want to have pause, wherever they want to uh, finish their um, talk. So whatever they want, they are allowed. However, when you are talking about formal languages, there are certain rules which we will be discussing in some of the modules. And if we summarize today module, we this was the second module on early generation programming languages. And we have discussed about assembly language disadvantages, then machine independence, translators, compilers, interpreters, and then the difference between natural, language, uh, natural languages and programming languages.